Yo, check this out. This is the Wu-Tang Clan, you know what I'm saying? From the Shaolin, you know what I'm saying? We got Big Pook right there. We got the Jizza right there. We got the Raycorn, the Shep right there. You know what I'm saying? Right here, we, who is that? We got Method Man right there. We got Inspector Deck. We got Baby You, You God. Golden arms, you know what I'm saying? In the back, we got Master Killer, and we got the Rizzo, but he not in effect right now, you know what I'm saying? My name is the old Dirty Bastard, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna give it, give it to you raw in a few seconds. We used to go to the Deuce and watch all the Flex, all the Kung Fu Flex all yeah. night, smoke bones and get it's drunk ones, and just, just lounge out. It was nasty, they, they, they was sharp. Everything was like precise, man. The moves, the way they was thinking and all of that. You know, the way, the way, the way how they all come as a family and they all go out together. You know, one, one brother, he might run off and get into something and something might happen to him. And then his, and then his brothers is there to revenge his, 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 his death or whatever. If somebody tried to flip on him or whatever. It's just the, the love, man, the love and the loyalty and the way they was, the, the way they was doing it, man. It was just so, so sharp, man. And it's like, when you get into it, it's like, it's like just looking at, looking at reality on some, that's how I be. Basically, man, Wu Tang represents a sword style of rhyming, man. The Wu is the way, the Tang is the slang, the clan represents the family, man. We call it a sword style because we are lyrical assassins and we are aware that the tongue is symbolic to the sword. You know what I'm saying? So we work with it like that. Also, if you want to break it down within each letter, it can represent witty, unpredictable talent and natural game. Meaning that what you have here is a clique of brothers with witty, unpredictable talent and a lot of natural game. I say natural game because that's like street sense. You have to have natural game in order to survive in the slums or the, or the ghetto. Or street, the, street knowledge, the, street knowledge. Street knowledge. So uh, basically, Wu-Tang is a sword style. We, you, we utilize our tongues against guns. You know what I'm saying? We want it like that. See, Wu-Tang is like a name, you know what I'm saying? We we really all straight, straight, straight up ghetto, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it ain't no no type of gimmick or no type of sound effects or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Wu Tang is the name. See, Wu, like he said, Wu Tang is the sword style. You know what I'm saying? See, if you watch kung fu movies, you notice that they be doing some, some, they be doing stuff that you don't usually see people be doing. They be in gymnastics, flipping, kicking. You know what I'm saying? So Wu Tang is like one of the sharpest styles. You know what I'm saying? So. We be keeping it on, on 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 that, you know what I'm saying? We, when we rhyme, like me, when I rhyme, when I when I get down for my crown, I come out crazy like a like a tiger or something, you know what I'm saying? No, no, nobody can't even F with me. Straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how we come in, you know what I'm saying? Straight away down, we just keep it and, away. And far as the karate flicks or whatever, a lot of people think that, you know what I'm saying, like he said, think we on some karate fighting or whatever. We ain't on it like that. We just flip flows with lyrics that chop, you know? We study the men, we study the discipline of like in the karate flicks or whatever, because they were always dealing with loyalty, love and trust, honor, brotherhood, you know? So that's the only thing we really carrying out. It ain't like you're gonna see somebody throwing some stars around anything. You know, it's just gonna be strictly fat lyrics, yeah, you man, know? We know all about that, man. Things like that. The mystery is a chess boxing. First of all, the word mystery means unknown, you know? And a game of chess is like life. So in reality, there is no mysteries to chess. It's just to those who understand life. Now, when you look at a game of chess, you have one side that moves first against the other. So one play offensive, defensive, and the other play defensive, offensive. We're the defensive pieces because we're the dark side of the board, so we always got to watch our back. That's how it is when you come from the slums or the ghetto. It's like there's always somebody that's plotting to get you or move against you. <laughs> then you have to counterreact and move on them. So basically, that's where we get the idea of chess from. Now, in the video, if you look at it, it's like me and Rizzo, we're playing a game of chess, but each piece on the board is part of the clan members as MCs, and each one is sharpening their sword against the other. Like, I move first. And then, who comes out first? You guard, you guard makes the move. Then inspects the deck, that's on Rizzo part. And then so on and so on. So basically, what we do, we look, we, 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 we look at the sciences of things and then we apply it to light in anything we do for us, MCing, chess, sword fighting, and all that. So that's where all that comes from. Well, Shaolin is the mental. If you watch the flicks, it was always people running to Shaolin trying to start trouble or, or, or coming there with confusion where as it was a place of peace, you know what I'm saying? So being that Shaolin is the mental, it's like dealing with the thought. Like the thought we had to produce all this, it was a, it was a great thought and it was peaceful because it came from the mind. That's what Shaolin is. Wu-Tang, as far as on that level, is how we manifested it physically on wax through records, you know? So that's basically what it's about.
you, Shaolin is a big place. And that, that's what we call Staten Island, Shaolin. And that's like basically where we started our foundation of music from. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because Rakim, which is the RZA, he isn't presently here right now. You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, the genius to a Rakim, but Rakim is the one who went and bought the equipment and sat down there and actually studied the technology of how to use the boards and how to do all of that, you know, and and then, you know, it came us. He taught, you know, all of us, and then we just started living it out. Everything was so coincide, man. You know what I'm saying? And he learned one thing about that brother. He learned how to respect our talent as how it came. He just gave us a little pointers telling us how to clean our acts up, you know what I'm saying, and our own minds. And, and then that's why everybody got totally different styles. It's like this, man. Clan represents family, man. Clan means family. We all a family. It's just like when you grow up in your household with your siblings or your brothers and sisters and y'all under one roof, y'all under your parents, and then as you get older, you got to spread out. You got to do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. We spreading out, but we, we, we just getting more cream and then we just bringing it all back together. That's all it is. Don't think, don't, don't think that because he has a solo deal, and I have a solo deal. This man may get a solo deal that we all we all just separating and breaking up. It's not that type of thing, man. We just we just expanding because the talent is so great. It's like we have we have mad talent in this, you know, and we just got to spread out. You know, yeah. you can't come out of one chamber. You just got to spread. What? Yo, like I was saying, why, why should if you got a, a group of five people and every last one of them can ride? He can ride, he can ride, he can dance, he can DJ. Why? We, or everybody need their own money. We got to take uh, $500 and get one, two, three, four, five. Let everybody get there. See, who we go get, and y'all don't even know, we got a, we got a nasty plan for y'all, man, for real, man. We got the best. So we trying to get all our people in the door. It's like, I ain't even gonna tell you, man. I'm gonna just show you. It's, it's, it even go beyond that because it's like, man, you can't, you couldn't have five Michael Jacksons in the Jackson Five. You know what I'm saying? It's like each one of us express a different talent on a different level, and there's so much talent that it's not like we all holding the weight on Method Man or, or on Raekwon or on myself. It's like it's like almost having, like I said, like five Michael Jacksons and and one Jackson Five group, and you know that's not gonna work. So we got to just spread out.